Good morning South Africa. We've got the latest news stories and headlines in South Africa on Monday, January 24. Now let's take a good look at the top five stories that have made headlines for today. Concerns raised over blaze at Pretoria Air Base. Concerns have been raised about yet another fire at a strategic location in Zansi after black smoke was seen bellowing from the Waterkloof Air Base in Pretoria. It's not yet known how the blaze was started. Sanf has stated that the fire has been brought under control for the time being. However, locals in the area noticed that large flames were visible at the premises. A litany of photos have been posted on social media showing the extent of the fire and it appears we've got another serious issue on our hands. In a month which has seen fires at several government buildings including the Inferno which claimed Parliament, this latest news from Waterkloof is likely to leave Mzansi on edge. Details remain sketchy at this point. ANC factions becoming a threat to our democracy. ANC President Cyril Ramaphosa has brought this weekend's ANC Le Cotler to an end. Ramaphosa delivered his closing address publicly on Sunday and fired off quite a few explosive remarks. The president hit back at Lindao Sisulu and her moves against the constitution. He also ripped into his party over several key issues. To end this week, the party held a Le Cotler with members of the Tripartite Alliance. With Kosatu and the South African Communist Party in attendance, Ramaphosa had a lot of things to deal with. The situation around Susulu and her attack on the judiciary and mentally colonized black judges was always going to be a top agenda item this weekend. According to reports from inside the ANC Le Cotler, Kosatu President Singiswa Losai warned ANC members that failing to deal with Susulu is feeding a culture of mediocrity. Man hiding in plain wheel survives 11-hour flight from SA to Netherlands. The Dutch authorities have confirmed that a stowaway, who survived a grueling flight from South Africa to the Netherlands while hidden in the nose wheel of a cargo plane, is now receiving hospital treatment. The nearing comprehensible journey began this weekend, with the unidentified stowaway sneaking into the front landing gear of the aircraft. It has not yet been confirmed which airport the cargo plane left from. On Sunday morning, the Dutch military police released a statement, confirming that an individual was discovered still inside the nose wheel. It's reported the male stowaway is doing well, but remains under investigation. Relief for the Western Cape rainfall set to hit the province on Monday. Parts of the Western Cape will get a much welcome break from the stifling heat and dry conditions that have lingered over the province for the last two weeks, as rainfall has been forecast for Monday, January 24th. Now, the coverage of these downpours isn't comprehensive, and only select regions will encounter any rain tomorrow. But cooler temperatures are set to spread across the Western Cape on Monday morning. Some experts have already declared Saturday, January 22 as the hottest day on record in the Mother City, and Sunday will also see temperatures surpass the 40C mark. This heatwave has been a punishing one for the locals. Shark spotters clear packed Musenberg Beach. It's day two of the latest Western Cape heatwave. With scorching temperatures hitting the mid-40C in parts of the province, it's no wonder the beaches have been jam-packed. Unfortunately for Musenberg beachgoers on Sunday, shark spotters were forced to step in after an apparent sighting. This sent hundreds of people out of the water and back into the baking sun. Chaos broke out on Musenberg Beach at around 1400 hours. Sirens operated by shark spotters began to go off. After the first few seconds of panic and confusion subsided, the spotters began to clear the beach. The Democratic Alliance's Ricardo McKenzie was on the beach at the time. He managed to capture and showcase just how busy the beach was. Temperatures were in the early 30C at the time. With next to no wind at all. This is Leah for the South African.